This is the moment a $90,000 humanoid robot suddenly lost its mind. Or should I say, its programming. Arms thrashing, equipment flying, while engineers scramble for control. This wasn't a movie scene. It happened in a Chinese factory last week, and the footage has gone viral. But that's just the start. At the exact same time this was going viral, companies were rolling out robots that look straight out of Star Wars, burger-flipping androids serving up perfect meals in 27 seconds flat, and, I'm not making this up, a blonde humanoid saleswoman named Morneen, who's now working at car dealerships. So today, we're breaking down all the biggest robotic stories you need to see to believe. Let's get into it. The robotics world just got a stark reality check recently, when Unitree's advanced H1 humanoid robot suffered a dramatic public malfunction during testing in China. Captured on video that quickly went viral, the incident shows the 5 feet 11 inches, 110 pound robot suddenly breaking from its programmed movements and entering a violent, uncontrolled thrashing state. Engineers present had to physically intervene to prevent equipment damage and potential injuries, dragging the malfunctioning machine back to its stand. So, the video first popped up on Reddit, where user named Oddly Terrifying shared it on with the title, Robot on Hook Went Berserk All of a Sudden. From there, it took off across X and Instagram, with people reactions ranging from dark humor to genuine alarm. Users started cracking jokes and drawing immediate parallels to dystopian sci-fi. Terminator vibes became a trending comment, some also comparing it to Robocop in a glitching Iron Man suit and warning this might be the start of the robot uprising in China. Technical analysis suggests the episode resulted from a cascading control system failure, possibly triggered by a sensor feedback loop error in its dynamic balancing algorithms. This is particularly concerning because the H1 represents cutting-edge bipedal robotics. It currently holds the world record for fastest walking speed among full-sized humanoids. These robots are already being positioned for deployment in human environments, making such failures more than just laboratory curiosities. This incident follows a pattern of concerning robotic behaviors observed in public settings. Just months earlier, a performing robot at a lunar festival unexpectedly broke from its routine and lurched toward spectators. As humanoids like Unitree's H1, Boston Dynamics Atlas, and Tesla's Optimus become more capable and autonomous, the industry faces growing questions about fail-safe mechanisms and operational safety protocols. Unlike stationary industrial robots that operate in cages, these mobile humanoids are designed to share our spaces making their reliability absolutely critical. On the more practical end of the robotics spectrum, Piaggio fast-forwards G1T4M1N1, or GTA Mini, demonstrates how thoughtful design can create genuinely useful robotic assistance, priced at $2,875. This Star Wars-inspired cargo carrier solves a simple but universal problem, hands-free transport of everyday items. Its functionality stems from an elegant integration of proven technologies. Stereo cameras for visual tracking, inertial measurement units for motion control, and modular drive systems adapted from Piaggio's automotive expertise. The technical specifications reveal a carefully balanced system. The 20-pound payload capacity matches typical grocery loads, while the 21-mile range on a two-hour charge accommodates daily urban use. The six miles per hour top speed synchronizes perfectly with human walking pace, and the all-terrain wheels maintain functionality across various urban landscapes. What makes GTA Mini particularly noteworthy is its focus on solving specific user needs rather than chasing humanoid form factors. The cargo bin dimensions are optimized for standard shopping bags, and the follow me functionality requires no special user training. With its combination of practical utility and playful design, this one offers a compelling glimpse at how robots could begin appearing in everyday life without the uncanny valley effect of humanoid forms. Next, the robotics industry just got its most accessible humanoid yet with Germany's Iggy Rob, priced at a surprisingly affordable 47,999 pounds, about $54,500. 
Developed by motion plastic specialist IGUS, this 5 feet 7 inches robot represents a strategic shift in automation economics, costing less than many luxury sedans while offering serious industrial capabilities. One thing that stands out is its pragmatic design choices. Instead of expensive bipedal locomotion, it uses a wheeled Rebel Move autonomous mobile platform, providing greater stability and payload capacity, up to 100 kilograms, while reducing complexity. Technical specifications reveal thoughtful compromises for cost effectiveness. The dual Rebel Cobit arms and bionic hands provide manipulation capabilities, while LiDAR and 3D cameras enable environment navigation. An eight-hour operational battery life makes it practical for full work shifts, and the ROS-2 compatibility ensures integration with existing systems. Perhaps most significantly, Iggy Rob carries full European CE certification, meaning it meets stringent safety standards for human-robot collaboration. This combination of features at this price point could potentially open automation opportunities for small and medium manufacturers previously priced out of humanoid robotics. Chinese automaker Sherry is making waves with Mornin, its humanoid dealership assistant developed in partnership with iMoga and powered by DeepSeek's advanced AI models. This strikingly lifelike robot features blonde hair, sunglasses with embedded surround view cameras, and fully articulated hands capable of serving drinks, all designed to interact with potential car buyers. While exact pricing hasn't been disclosed, Sherry compares Mornine's cost to one of their vehicles, suggesting a price range between $20,000 to $50,000. The technology behind Mornine reveals serious ambitions beyond a publicity stunt. Built on NVIDIA hardware, into the automotive retail space, the robot's vocal capabilities allow for natural customer interactions, while its visual systems can presumably analyze customer reactions and engagement. With plans to deploy 220 units globally this year, including trial locations in Malaysian dealerships, Sherry appears committed to this automation path. Company president Zhang Guibing has gone so far as to suggest that humanoid robots represent greater future potential than vehicles themselves for Sherry. Public reaction has been polarized, with some praising the innovation while others find the humanoid form unsettling. This tension highlights the challenges of human-robot interaction design. Mornine's realistic features generate both engagement and discomfort, illustrating the fine line robotics companies must walk when creating machines meant to interact with the general public. Moving on, the restaurant industry is getting a robotic makeover with ABB Robotics BurgerBots, a complete automated kitchen solution that assembles perfect burgers in just 27 seconds. It was recently deployed in an unlikely setting, an upscale brunch spot in Los Gatos, California's affluent Silicon Valley enclave. This system combines ABB's industrial-grade IRB 360 FlexPicker Delta robot with their collaborative Yumi arm to handle everything from ingredient selection to final assembly. The IRB 360's high-speed precision, capable of 150 picks per minute, handles topping placement while the Yumi's sensitive dual arms carefully complete each burger. Mark Segura, president of ABB Robotics Division, explains their approach. The food service industry is dynamic and demanding, and our technology brings industrial-grade consistency, efficiency, and reliability to this space. What works behind this innovative process is its integrated inventory management. Each burger box travels on a conveyor, with a unique QR code that tells the robots exactly which ingredients to add, while simultaneously updating the kitchen's real-time inventory tracking. This solves two major restaurant pain points simultaneously, consistency in food preparation and ingredient management. The technology comes at a crucial time, with 67% of hospitality workers surveyed expressing interest in using robotics to reduce repetitive tasks and 65% welcoming robots if it means safer working conditions. People were intrigued by the automation and appreciate the consistency and efficiency it brings. Last but not least, the University of California, Berkeley has taken a major step toward democratizing robotics by releasing complete open source plans for their Berkeley Humanoid Light. 
This 3D printable robot design significantly lowers the barrier to entry for humanoid robotics development. The most expensive components, the 22 cycloidal gearboxes, can be manufactured on a standard 3D printer, while the remaining parts like Intel N95 mini PC, battery, motors, and sensors represent about $5,000 in additional investment. Users posted the robot's control testing video with controllers and trying to pick up objects. Technical specifications reveal a capable platform despite its accessible nature. The 4,000 milliamp hour battery provides approximately 30 minutes of operation time, and the robot's sensor suite enables both locomotion and teleoperated manipulation. Standing at toddler height, the design focuses on core humanoid functionalities while avoiding the complexity and cost of more advanced systems. With their open source approach, they're setting the stage for faster progress and exciting, unexpected breakthroughs from people all around the world. And who knows, the next Boston Dynamics could start in a garage. So, from rogue robots to burger flipping arms and DIY androids, tech is moving faster than ever. The question is, are we ready for it? Let me know in the comments. Would you trust a robot chef, a droid butler, or are we playing with fire? If you enjoyed this breakdown, smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell, because the future isn't waiting.